Okay, so this next video and format is going to help you start introducing more complexity to your models, in particular, in particular looking at some entourage items, bringing in additional things, um, things that you know might be repetitive, um, people, trees, um, furniture, things like that that you don't want to model every time. Um, sometimes you don't even have time to model, but certainly add to your scene. So there is um, by default right here, this content library, and it has a handful of things that you can bring in just immediately. And it's simply done by clicking once and then placing your object in the scene. But um, this is just a quick sort of sampler of objects, you know, so a lot of times we need to be able to bring in multiples of these objects. So one of the best places to do this at is the uh, 3D Warehouse. So let me pull up that website really quick. And I have a few things um, pre-downloaded already, but these are um, basically objects, uh, even objects from manufacturers, so on and so forth, um, that you can start bringing into your scene. If you come up here to categories, you will find things like architecture, landscape, and people, um, just a wide variety of any number of things that you can pull through. Now, quality is what quality is. I mean, it's all over the place in this. Um, this really isn't a curated system. Um, so you, you do have to do a little bit of digging and sometimes you can even find secondary sites that refer you to some of the better models to bring in. So you have to pay attention to it, but let's look essentially at what happens with a few of these models that I already have downloaded. Uh, essentially from here, by the way, on the website, super easy, you select, you download. Um, and what I typically do for myself is I have a folder created in my format programs folder. So it's on my D drive, program files, format, and then I have created a folder called library where I can begin to bring some files in. Now, if you notice the import type that I'm bringing is SketchUp files, SKP files. That's pretty much everything that you're going to find in the 3D warehouse um, are SKP files, which format will bring those in um, through a simple import process which works something like this. I'm just going to go to File, Import Locally, and let's just start with SketchUp People. So this will bring an entire mob of people. But then I'll look really quickly at how I can position those and create my own library from them. So let's just go ahead and slide that entire crowd slightly off scene here. So I can select this group and then I'm going to right click and I am going to ungroup them. And then let's just say I want to use um, dad and kids here, right? So these, um, as entourage people, these are really nice. They're sort of two dimensional cutouts. So once I know the basic position that I'm going to have the camera in, I can simply select them, right click, and rotate them where I want them for my camera view. So really simple and easy to use. Um, I have not found yet something like SketchUp has where I can set this to automatically face the camera. So if you find something like that, feel free to post it in the comments. I'd be happy to include that in the tutorial. But if I want to put these into a situation where I don't always have to open up all of this, but I want to add them to a content library just like this. It's a really simple process to do. I'm simply going to add a new folder location, which I've already done here. I'm just going to go to add. Um, I'm going to navigate to the folder. So for me, that was program files, format, library, and select folder. So I actually have two of those in there now, and we'll delete one of them and say OK. So from here, that will show up in this list. So that's that destination. Now if I take this group right here and say File, Export Locally, I'm going to save this as a .axm file. That's the native format file. I'm going to use Selected Only, because I don't want this entire piece, but just Selected Only. 
and then I'm going to click export. Let's actually, before we do that, let's kind of zoom in on the happy family here because this is going to create a preview image for me. We'll see that in just a second. File, export locally, selected only into my library file. And let's name this one dad and kids. So if I hit refresh, I've navigated to that folder already. If I hit refresh, I will have dad and kids. So anytime I want to use that, as an entourage item, all I have to do is, I did that a little bit too fast, just click once on that, and then click into my scene to place them. Cool, so I can just quickly populate an entire scene as I save uh, these different pieces of entourage. So let's bring in one more object, let's bring in um, an actual three-dimensional tree you can find 2D cutouts of trees, things like that as well, which will help your scene run a little bit faster. Um, but the 3D trees are a little bit easier to navigate around. So we're going to run the exact same steps again. File import locally um, from the same website, low polygon, but three-dimensional tree. And we'll wait for that to show up into the scene. It takes just a minute because this is a little bit heavy in terms of polygon count. But it's not awful. So let's move that a little bit more into the scene. There we go. I, my computer just seems to be running really slow right now. There we go. We're just acting laggy for some reason. Because that's a pretty heavy tree, but it's not as heavy as what my computer is acting like right now. I think there might be some background stuff going on. Okay, so have the tree in place, and then I can do the exact same process with this in terms of adding it to a library. Simply select it, file, export locally, Select it only. Um, again, wow, I keep forgetting to do that. I really should get that a little bit more centered so that it builds a good preview for me. So we go file, export locally, selected only, export. We'll save that right into the library. So let's just call it tree 3D. And then when I hit refresh here, I'll have that object as well that I can start bringing in. And so building up this library of content that you're going to use on a regular basis is really going to speed up your production. Um, also, it's going to give you um, the opportunity to quickly find those things. Leveraging the 3D warehouse is a great spot to go and find this content. Um, and again, the objects that you're finding that work well for you, start building that library so that you have that entourage right there immediately at your fingertips within the program.